Hey guys, it's Ty. If you just want to make a quick video on um, rewiring the rework machine and um, also rewiring the transformer that I had bought. Um, when I bought this transformer, it actually came with this plug and I had to snip it. Um, as you can see, this would be your ground, but this is a German plug and it seems that, well, I guess that in Germany, um, the ground is actually comes out from the wall. So clearly that's not what happens here. And I had a little adapter. But the adapter is like this, and it doesn't have a ground point at all, so um, that didn't help me. So I actually just went to Home Depot and actually bought this three-prong um, 110. And then you can actually, there's a little thing you put in the back, and that's what it looks like. Um, I bought two of them for like six bucks, so that's pretty cheap. And um, that's how I get <coughs> the... Sorry guys, I'm kind of sick. Um, that's how I get the transformer to work in the outlet, the wall outlet. Now, I have this. This is the plug for the rework machine. Um, it is China, I believe. China, Australia, or something. I don't know. Um, but basically, it doesn't fit into the transformer. So, I'm going to basically put it in here and show you guys how to do that real quick so I'm just gonna set this thing down right here and I'm about to get started <clears throat> so the only things that you really need to remember is um, is your colors um, your brown is your hot your blue is your neutral and your green and yellow is your ground. Um, I mean every place might be a tad bit different but that's basically most of the gist of it. Sometimes I believe ground is black. Um, I believe if you're doing like a just a two prong but I mean everything is different but you just gotta kinda look into it for a little bit. I, mean, I have to do a little bit of research to find that so <coughs> just take it apart. The transformer actually didn't have any wires like this. So, well, I mean, it had the same color wires, but it didn't have them where they were. They were already actually, that's why I had to snip them off. So, got to take these out. Transformer didn't have wires like this where they're already basically flattened out for you and everything. So basically that works very well for when you put in these. So with this, um, you pretty much look at it like this, and the one on your right is gonna be your hold on gotta sneeze guys. Never mind, I don't. Um the one on your right is gonna be your hot, this is gonna be your neutral, this is going to be your ground. So brown, blue, and then yellow, so Just pretty much, you don't have to take the whole thing off. Actually, first, before we do that, I'm gonna take this. Um, I believe it goes like this. Okay. Take this thing off, and I believe it goes like that. And this thing goes in. Definitely do this part first. I actually didn't, and I have to take apart the whole thing, which kind of sucked, but, <clears throat> okay, so, um, this is a 110 power plug, like, for the U.S., but, um, it's actually running the whole 220 volts, because this machine is a 220 volt machine, and I just needed this plug so I could put it into the into the transformer so gotta put on the side of the metal casing do not plug into wall outlet because it will more than likely screw up your machine so only to be plugged into the transformer
I mean, there's different ones you can get, man. I was looking for a black one, but the black one was actually um, more plastic, and I didn't want so much plastic on it, so um, I just went with this one. It doesn't really matter. I don't like I'm going to be looking at it. trying to get this thing flat and you want to tighten it pretty good because you definitely don't want these coming out so go once over not bad and then that's pretty much it you just look um in this one I don't know if you can see too well but there's that kind of the spring right here, um, that's for the, for the ground thing, so that goes there, and, um, kind of just fits into place, and then, get these down, gotta kind of push on them a little bit, or, I guess it doesn't want to go in. This one going. There we go. I kind of think that it's off because <laughs> it doesn't feel like these are twisting in. Yeah, they didn't even go in. Just line it up first. There you go. Um, if you're in a house, most more than likely you can get your um, your breaker. <clears throat> Just get a, a 220 outlet installed, um, whether you do it yourself or get an electrician. But I live in an apartment, so I have to get the transformer, and that's pretty much what it is. So that's that, and then I'm going to put this thing on real quick. Just squeeze it pretty much in there. One thing that kind of sucks about these machines, both uh, both this uh, transformer and the rework machine, is that um, they are both they both have really really short. I don't want to say really really short, but they both have short wires, um, power cords. So you can't really have like a long distance. I mean, you guess you could probably use like an extension cord or something, but um, I had my transformer, as you see it's like on the desk, I have to actually put it, I have a desktop on the back, so it's just sitting like right next to the outlet, and I'll show you that when I'm done with this, so. So that's in there, and that's pretty much how you do it, so just remember that this is still a 220 volt, it's just wired with the 110 to fit the mesh to fit into the transformer and I'm just going to show you guys it powering up Okay guys, there's the outlet right there um, plugged into the wall. That's the transformer and there is the Station that's plugged in right there. As you can see that black cord. That's all it is. It's pretty short. So um I turned this thing on. It's way down there. It's behind my desk. And put that little light on. And then come up to the front here and just pull this thing on. And voila. There we go. And that's how you rewire your machine if you're using a transformer.